It's that time of year. High school seniors, they're applying to their dream colleges and universities. For years, prep schools and private academies boasted of high admission rates to Ivy League schools. But now the pattern is changing. At least some numbers indicate that. Public school students might have the upper hand. Joining us right now is Christopher Rim, CEO of Command Education. And Christopher, this is counterintuitive for a lot of folks. But you're saying that Ivy Leagues are more likely to accept high-performing public school students than at private schools? Is that because these students stand out more? Well, there are two different reasons. So I would say, well, first, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being um, here. You know, a lot of private schools have state-of-the-art technology, they have the resources, they have the equipment, but if you're attending a private school, for example, in New York City, you're starting in kindergarten. That means you're essentially paying tuition for 13 years. And if a family is doing that at around 50, 60,000 a year, they're spending 800 plus thousand on their child's like K through 12 education. That means they want their child to get into the best possible college. And now if the entire class is comprised of those students and those students only, or for the most part, that's intense competition. Now, if you are able to excel in a public school, take advantage of different resources, you might be competing against just a dozen or two dozen students who might be vying for the same top college. But if you attend a school like Horace Mann or Trinity or Brearley in New York City, almost all those students are there to get into a Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Stanford. So the competition is really what makes public schools a much better choice. We had students, we had this past cycle, we had two students with very similar profiles, extracurriculars, grades, course intensity, and one student who attended a private school didn't get into her top college choice, still got into a great school, but didn't get into a top choice. But the school, the student who attended public school was able to get into Harvard and Princeton. So we're already seeing this. I'm seeing it firsthand with the students we're working with. There's just less competition. Some families, it's fascinating to me because, again, I wasn't as competitive. I come from a single parent home. I didn't have the preparation that a lot of students do uh, if their parents are really invested in getting them into the right school. But you've got families relocating to second tier public school districts to give their kids Correct. a better chance at Ivy League acceptance. Are schools, are public schools aware of this? Are they doing anything differently when it comes to serving their students? I don't think these schools have necessarily caught on because it's not like, it's not hundreds of students entering a public school district at once, I would say. But definitely, I mean, I think COVID really started this when families were moving outside of the New York City area, going to different suburbs, moving to uh, Denver, moving to Miami. And now, for example, schools in Miami have gotten extremely competitive. Um, so I think it's going to catch on. I don't think all families are obviously going to continue to do this. I've, some families text me and say, Chris, we need to figure it out here in New York City because there's no way I'm going to be moving outside of the city. Um, so yeah. do whatever you can to help my child. But at the end of the day, we have to realize no one is going to these private schools because they want to boast about the certain brand named private school that they're attending, whether it's Horace Mann, Riverdale, or any of these fancy prep schools. And yes, that's great yeah. but that's a stepping stone to get into the best college everyone at a private school wants to get into the best college that's why you're paying tuition but that public school might be a better bet and it's it's just it's a shifting of the tide for real uh again a lot of competition and kids are starting younger and younger in terms of getting into the college of their dreams christopher rim thanks so much for being with us i know you advise a lot of students you're going to likely be busy this upcoming semester we appreciate it thank you so much